Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you some new courses for Blender that promise to boost your skills in a wide range of fields. I've spoken to a lot of the creators I'll talk about today, either on the Blender Nest podcast or just through private messaging, so I've gotten to know who they are and learned a bit about what kind of value they can provide for the community. Each of these creators has also been generous enough to set me up as an affiliate partner, so just to be transparent, this means I get a share of any referred sales. So by using the affiliate links in the description of this video, you'll also be helping to support both this channel and the creators themselves. So let's take a look at what's on offer. First of all, we have Real-Time Motion Graphics by Midge. I'm sure many of you already know who he is. We share a lot of interests in procedural and generative techniques, but his work has a particular emphasis on motion graphics, hence this course. This is not the first time he's done educational content for the subject, and he has a lot of experience in teaching, with a concise way of demonstrating concepts. I actually originally wanted to do a whole video just for this course, but the problem is, it's too good. Okay, that probably doesn't make sense, but what I mean is I wanted to create demonstrations for each of the major concepts just to make sure I had retained what was being taught. But my word, there's so much information in this, and so many tips I'll be able to use in my own work. It's taken me ages to get through all of it. Overall, there's 11 hours of content covering procedural modeling, quick animation techniques, shading tricks, lighting tips, EV optimizations, and more. It's definitely worth the price. A lot of the things shared in this course will also help me to develop new features for the Biogen add-on, so I'm quite excited about applying the knowledge there. So this course gets my highest recommendation. If you have even the slightest interest in motion graphics, or just want to learn more about the generative potential of Blender, and specifically the modifier stack, then you will need to add this one to your collection. But if you don't want to fork out for a paid course, then you should still take the time to explore their YouTube content, as well as some others like Ducky3D, CG Patrick, and Chris Prenninger, who have also been exploring motion graphics. Chris's work is mostly focused around the powerful animation nodes add-on, which definitely opens up a wide range of possibilities for motion effects. But if we're going down that road, you should probably check out the Sphurchock add-on as well. Oh, and then there's Bygen, of course. Okay, we're getting off track. Let's move on to the next course. CG Dive is currently working on an in-depth course for Rigify in Blender. The main personality behind CG Dive is Todor, who I've been speaking to for a little while in private messages. They're very keen and proactive in sharing their knowledge and how to use Rigify because it's a very powerful tool, and I've been really impressed by the results they've shared so far. There's a bunch of content already available on the YouTube channel, and they're also working on some more advanced chapters that you can pre-order from Gumroad if you found the basic content useful. I recommend giving the content that's already on the channel a watch because you'll be able to see the professional presentation style for yourself, and experience just how good they are at explaining concepts for appealing demonstrations. There's really a lot of good information to unpack there. Okay, moving on, here's CG Matters Hole in Hand course. There's 11 videos here showing you how to compose this effect, covering everything from tracking and stabilization to UV unwrapping, shading, and compositing. Overall, the whole thing is about 160 minutes in total, which is quite easy to digest. If you already like his personality and are interested in visual effects and compositing, then I think this would be a really good choice for you. If you've never heard of CG Matter before, then both his main channel and the secondary default cube channel have a whole suite of free content that you can watch, quite often covering subjects surrounding tracking, compositing, visual effects and node maths, but also diving into other subjects along the way. He's known for having a presentation style that's often more chaotic and entertaining than other creators, but he is certainly capable of sitting down and focusing on the subject at hand to get all the appropriate information across. While we're here, similar topics are also explored on Jacob J. Holiday's channel. He's relatively new to the YouTube Blender community, but his work is made to an excellent standard. CG and I have often said that he's probably at the top of the game when it comes to video quality in the community. The only downside is that these kinds of videos take a long time to put together, but it's the definition of quality over quantity. But anyway, if you're interested in learning about a variety of compositor tricks, then make sure to follow these threads because I'm sure you'll find something of value. Alright, up next is the sci-fi crate design by Josh and Ponty. This will give you a fundamental understanding of non-destructive modeling, boolean bevel workflows, as well as rendering, lighting, shading, and more. This is definitely appropriate for anyone with an interest in learning hard surface modeling techniques. They have a lot of experience in composing curated course content on Udemy, so you can be damn well sure this course is well structured to guide you through the core concepts. But again, make sure to take a look at their YouTube channel because there's lots of super valuable tips and tricks, especially for solving common shading and modeling issues that many of us encounter on a frequent basis. Speaking of hard surface though, I'm sure many of you already know about HardOps, which is probably the most popular add-on for speeding up hard surface workflows in Blender. If you're interested in picking up this course, then I'll also add my personal recommendation for grabbing a copy of HardOps as well. 
The creator of Hard Ops also has a separate add-on called Box Cutter, which has a comprehensive tool set for slicing up objects, compatible with both destructive and non-destructive workflows. Links to all of these can be found in the description. Okay, now that we're starting to come to the end of the list, we're going to talk about a couple of courses that aren't new, but are still extremely valuable. Those of you that have been subscribed to this channel for a while know that I did a video last year called The Best Way to Learn Blender 2.8. In it, I shared a wide range of free and paid courses and channels for learning Blender. The course that got my number one recommendation was the Blender 2.8 Launchpad by CG Boost. Lots of you that watched that video ended up enrolling, and it was really cool seeing all the different results. But this course still stands as the best paid content for beginners in my opinion. And for people who want a free course, Blender Guru's Donut course is the de facto standard introductory course for Blender. But there are many others available on YouTube with new ones popping up all the time. So if you or anyone you know is looking at getting into Blender, then I can still recommend these as good choices. But also there's another course that's come out from CG Boost, which is the Substance Painter Launchpad. Now of course, it's not directly connected to Blender, however Substance Painter is a powerful tool for 3D texture painting that's a very common addition to people's content creation workflows and works very well alongside Blender. This course is made by Martin Kleckner, who was a cinematic director for Kingdom Come Deliverance. They're also an incredibly nice person who's very passionate about what they do. If there's anyone I'd want to learn Substance Painter from, it's them. So if you take a look at their work, make sure to say hi from me. One thing I said in the best way to learn Blender 2.8 video was that it's always a good idea to learn from multiple teachers, because you may resonate more with the teaching style of one compared to another. This has always been true, and the creators and courses I've shown you here are just my recommendations for you to check out. But there is always content available for everyone online, regardless of whether you have money to invest in paid content or not. Alright, so that's where we're going to leave it for this video. If you found any of these courses interesting, then feel free to take a look at them by using my affiliate links below. So thanks for watching, I hope you're all staying safe during this time. Remember to stay creative and keep blending. So I'll see you next time.